Okay, so what time, when I, when we started this, what time was it? Um, Brian? 11.05. 11.05, did anybody get a different number besides 11.05? What would you get, Rachel? 11.06. Because when I looked, I saw 11.06 too. Okay, so we would write it like this. Um, explain how you know that 11, the, the time was 11.06. How did you know? on the dot six? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. How did you know that, that it doesn't say six by it? Because um. I counted the line after the one. Okay, so he said I counted the lines after the one and it was on the dot which would be, or the line that would be, or tick mark that would be six. Um, but if we had, if it was one, how do we go from one to the next line being six? Malia. Um, you went from one to the next line being six because, um, the clock goes by five minutes, so when it goes to that there, when it's 11 o'clock and then it goes to the one, that means five minutes because it's went by to five, and when it moves from Okay, so that was a good explanation. Just like when we're measuring on a ruler, sometimes something might equal 10 milliliter, millimeters or one centimeter. When we're counting minutes, the numbers represent, each number represents an additional five minutes. Okay, so then when you get to that number, then you count how many tick marks past that and add that to that number. So if our, if our minute hand was one past the four, what would our minutes be on that one? Sophia? Whatever time it is, and then the minutes would be 21, because the it's 5, 10, 15, 20 to get to the four, okay? So the next question I have on this, he says the hour hand and the minute hand, how do I know which one is which? Christine. This is small and this is the longer one. I'll put smaller and longer. <laughs> okay. All right, we're on 12 dash eight. eight today. So there is an hour hand, a minute hand, and a second hand to measure the time. We were talking a few minutes ago about the hour hand and the minute hand, and I believe it was Bella who did second. So Bella was saying that she did it by seconds as well. So she, uh, she, was looking at the second hand when she was telling the time. How many seconds are in a minute? 60. And how many minutes in an hour? 60. 60. So the clocks below show the length of a second, a minute, and an hour. So if you start at 3 o'clock exactly in 0 seconds, when 1 second elapses, this is what it looks like. The second hand moves to the 1 second tick mark. When a minute or 60 seconds elapse, the, the second hand has gone around one whole time and the minute hand is now pointing to the, the one minute tick mark. That's this one. When a whole hour or 60 minutes elapse, that means that the second hand has gone around 60 times to make 60 minutes. And now we have moved our, our little hand, our hour hand, is now on the four because the whole hour has passed. Okay? How many of you are feeling like this is brand new news to you? <laughs> Most of you already have learned a little bit about time, so this is not new news. But I'm just, re I'm just going over it for you to remind you. How does the size of an hour compare to the size of a second? There are how many minutes in an hour? 
60. And there are how many seconds in a minute? 60. 60. So if we have 60, if we're trying to find out how many seconds are in an hour, we can multiply the number of minutes that are in an hour, which is 60, times how many seconds were in one minute? 60. 60. We can multiply 60 times 60 to find out how many minutes. Go ahead and do the math right now on your own. If you have 6 times 60, what is 6 times 60? Owen. 360, right? So if I have 6 times 60, that's 360. Now I actually had 6 times 10 here. So now I have to multiply 360 times 10, which will give me what, Andy? Um, 3,600. 3, and that's our answer. So there are 3,600 seconds <coughs> in an hour. So an hour is 3,600 times as long as a second. Larissa spent two hours on her science project. Cliff spent 200 minutes on his science project. Who spent more time? They've done a chart to help you figure this out. If you're struggling with, how do I figure this out? You can do yourself a little chart. One hour equals 60 minutes. So two hours would equal how many? Raise your hand again. Ronnie. 120. 120 minutes. Angelie, how many? 180. 180. Okay. So two hours was actually how much? 120. Is it less than or more than 200 minutes? Less than. It's less than. So, who spent more time on the science project? Cliff. Cliff <coughs> spent more time than Larissa on the science project. Okay. I didn't do this side over here. We kind of just did it out loud. Two hours equaled 120 seconds. And this one, or 20 minutes, I'm sorry. 120 minutes. This one equals 200 minutes, and that's what it looks like. Compare the length of a week to the length of a day. A week, you can do your, use your pencil to shade this. Shade one day. So there are how many days in a week? Seven. Seven days in one week. We did this problem in our warm-up this morning, or a couple minutes ago. So one week is seven times as long as one day. Now we're going to talk about comparing the length of a year to a month. So one year is how many times as long as one month? A year is how many months? Twelve. Not new news to you. Just reminding. The conversions are right up here if you forget. 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour, 24 hours in one day. You guys know that. Yes. Seven days a week, 12 months a year, 52 weeks in a year. Does anybody think that they can figure out how many seconds are in a year? Okay, two minutes is how many seconds? I want you guys to think about it. How long is two minutes? What do you think, Sophia? 120 seconds. <coughs> Four years is how many months? Angelica. 48 months. Okay. All right.